what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel uh welcome to the year 2024 we have made it you know as always that is a, a blessing to be able to see another year and to be on uh on earth amongst family and friends another year uh again thank you for everybody who subscribed to the channel last year I look forward to those that will be subscribing to the channel this year and hopefully we can move this thing forward and get bigger and better because that's always the goal. Uh, I guess before I go any further, I uh, just want to let you guys know about uh, Bucked Up. Uh, Bucked Up is a health supplement that I have been using for at least the past three years. I am an ambassador with them. Uh, Bucked Up, you know, I mainly use them for the protein. Uh, protein shakes pre-workouts and stuff like that they do also have uh, vitamins and stuff so if you're looking to improve your overall health not just physical health and trying to hit the gym and hit the weights and stuff like that but overall health look at buckedup.com I will leave the link down below also if you click on that link uh, you'll be able to use one of my uh, codes that I've already got on there uh, to help you save I believe it's 10% on your entire order uh, part of that is also uh, when you click on the link and you buy from the store after clicking on that link I do make a commission off of that which that is greatly appreciated but my goal is to try to help as many people uh, get more healthy uh, in this year um, for me my job health is a big thing it's kind of hard to get out there and do law enforcement work if you're not in you know top physical health or at least in the best health that you can be and I would like to help everybody with that by getting you guys the right type of supplements and vitamins to help you out with your fitness goals no matter what that is you're trying to put on a couple extra pounds of muscle you're trying to lose a couple of pounds of weight or maybe like I said you're just trying to overall healthy better sleeping um, more energy throughout the day I want to help you with that so click on the link down below for bucked up and if you got any questions please leave me comments on here you can also look for my uh, Facebook uh, Calvin Reed um, I also have an outdoors with Creed Facebook page where you can you know hit me up there ask me questions about bucked up and I'll try to help you out with that as best as I can so today's video is a gun talk video but I'm not really talking guns I'm gonna be talking some equipment and <clears throat> I'm gonna look this up real quick because I want to make sure I'm telling you guys uh, the right stuff I don't want you you know I'm telling you the wrong thing and you get mad at me because I didn't I didn't I didn't get you the right information so what we're going to be talking about today when it comes to equipment um, I want to talk to you guys about holsters and specifically a, a holster uh, I guess you could say a holster setup that I just recently got and I think it is one of the best things that's come out so what I have here, okay, this is the Black Hawk belly band. And I know there's a million different companies out here that make belly bands. And you know, they're advertised as a good way to carry your gun on you uh, in a non-conventional way. Meaning for me, uh, when I'm wearing my workout gear, I don't have on a belt so it's kind of hard to put on whether it's my in the waistband holster or my outer um, outer waistband holster it's hard to do that when I'm wearing my, my workout stuff so again I have here the Black Hawk belly band this is what they call their nacho it's the stash nacho okay nacho stands for non-conventional adaptive carry holster option okay now uh, I was watching another video on a guy who was doing his own review of this belt and he said that this belt was designed to carry your Glock 19. I'm going to make a correction to that. 
This belt is not just designed for your Glock 19. This belt is designed to work with the Blackhawk stash holster, no matter what caliber gun, no matter what brand of gun you have. And what I mean by that is, let me go back real quick because I want to make sure I get this right. So I'm just going to look at the Blackhawk uh, stash in the waistband holster. Okay. This holster, the, the, uh, the Blackhawk stash holster, you can get this gun for the Colt Commander, which is the 4-inch 1911 or the Staccato C2, the Colt Government 1911, which is the 5-inch or the Staccato uh, P4.4. You can get this holster for the FN 509, which is the 4-inch midsize, 4-inch compact, 3.7-inch. Uh, you can get it for the Glock 17, 22, 31, 47, and the CZ P5F. And for those Glocks, um, the Glock 22, this one, it was the holster wasn't made for the Gen 5 40 caliber. Um, they might have, uh, or they're probably in the process of making the holster for the Gen 5 Glock 22, but as of right now, they, they don't have that one. Uh, Glock 19, 19X, 23, 32, 44, 45, and that is with the Streamlight TLR 7, 7A, and the TLR 8 and 8A, and again, not the Gen 5 40 caliber uh, for those 40 caliber models. Uh, you have the Glock 17, 19, 19X, 22, 23, 31, 32, 44, 45, 47 and all of those if you have it paired up with the surefire x300 again not the gen 5 40 caliber uh pistols now we have the glock 19 19x 23 32 44 45 and cz p10c again not the gen 5 40 caliber also the glock 26 uh glock 26 27 33 those are your subcompact glocks those are the ones that you know they used to call the baby Glock. Okay, you have the Glock 43X and 48SL, and that's uh, paired up with the TLR7 Sub. You have the Glock 43, 43X, Springfield Hellcat, Taurus GX4, uh, the Glock 48, the Smith and Wesson MP Shield EZ9 and Equalizer 9, the Heckler and Koch. VP9, VP9SK, and P30, the Ruger LC9, EC9, LC380, the Ruger Max 9, SIG, P3, P, SIG P320 Comp, SIG P320 Comp with a Streamlight TLR7 or 8, the SIG P320 M17, uh, SIG P365 or the P365X, not the X macro. <sighs> it keeps clicking off on me. Uh, where was I at? Uh, the SIG P365XL or the uh, P365XL Spectre Comp, SIG P365X macro, Smith & Wesson MMP 1.0, 2.0, that's the 9mm, 40 caliber, 45, 10mm, and the 4-inch, 10mm only, and the SD9, 40 caliber, uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, Shield Plus, 9 and 40 caliber, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, 9, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield, Shield Plus, 9 and 40 caliber, with the SL TLR6 or CTLTG 770 and the LL801, the Springfield Hellcat Pro, Taurus GT, G2C and G3C, and the PT111 Millennium G2, and the Walter PDP full or comp size, or the F Series 4 inch. So those are all the firearm models that you can order the Blackhawk Stash holster. Now, the way the stash holster works with their nacho belly band belt is this piece of nylon right here 
is where you would actually attach your holster. Now I'm going to take mine. I have here my Glock 27. I'm gonna show y'all this on camera. Magazine out, because it is loaded. And I just removed that round. So now my gun is unloaded. It is clear and safe. And it is back in the holster. So you're getting ready to go for your morning run or your afternoon run or whenever you go running and you want to carry your firearm with you well you put on your belly band okay and then what you will do this is actually the dara holster only because as i just read off the glock 27 uh, they don't make the stash holster for the Glock 26, 27, I believe it was the 32 with a light on it. I have the TLR 6 light on here and Blackhawk has not made their stash holster for this gun with a light. So I found this Dara holster. It's a really good holster. No complaints with it, but this was the only holster that I could find at a good price that would accommodate my gun and flashlight. However, you take your your belly band after you've put it on and then you are able to put your in the waistband holster on this belly band and now you're able to carry your firearm on this belly band and um, I have worn mine I've done a YouTube short video when I was out with it had it on while I was running it didn't move at all it was right where I needed it uh, a few times I went to draw the gun out just to check and see as long as you order the belt in the right size for your waist when you go to draw the holster it will not move uh, right here they have extra padding for comfort but that also helps with when you go to draw the holster the belt doesn't ride up your stomach it stays put so you're able to draw that gun out your holster stays down low around your midsection and when you go to reholster it doesn't force the belt down your waist anymore so that was the reason for this now as I said in that other video and I will try to tag it up here if not I'll find uh, the name of that guy's channel and put it on there but this, this setup was not just designed for the Glock 19. It was designed for whatever gun you have and you have it in a Blackhawk stash holster, the stash in the waistband holster, this belt will work with that holster. Like I said, I got lucky and found that this belt does work with this Dara holster as well. But if Blackhawk was to make the stash holster for the Glock 27 with that light, I would buy it in a heartbeat but again you're able to wear this under your running clothes or whatever workout attire or even if you know let's say you live in some kind of apartment complex or something and it's got one of those big mailboxes where it has multiple unit mailboxes on there and you walk down there to go grab your mail and you still want to have a gun on you but not in your pockets you throw this on throw your gun on here and now you're able to walk down there in your shorts or whatever you got on uh, your shorts and house shoes your pajama pants and whatever else get down the street get your mail and walk back with um, a peace of mind of security because you were able to still have your your firearm concealed and on you if you needed it now Let's say that you've come home from your run and you done got, you know, showered, you know, put on some clothes and now you're about to go out. Well, all you got to do is just like you would any other day, you just pull your holster off of the belly band and now you're ready to go. Your gun is already holstered. You don't have to switch holsters or anything like that. You now just tuck this into your pants in whatever position you choose to uh, carry your firearm for your concealed and you're ready to go and so I just wanted to touch on that uh, new piece of equipment that I got towards the end of last year like I said I have taken it out and did some running with it on and it works fantastic um, also on the front here you have a small pocket flanking your pistol with two large pockets those pockets work great for uh, well, 
if I can get it in there. As a magazine holder or a flashlight holder. And then your larger pockets that are flanking those work great. For those of you that still carry the iPod, you can carry that to play your music or you can put your phone there so now you don't have stuff in your pockets that could potentially be weighing you down um, weighing down your your jogging pants or whatever you can carry all that stuff on your belt and it holds up pretty good it's pretty snug if I give this a good bounce then my phone came out because it's a pretty slick case but it holds pretty good as you can see the magazine is still in there so that magazine is still in there and that thing is not coming out so you don't have to worry about losing magazines or anything like that so like I said you got two small pockets that flank the the area where your pistol goes along with two larger pockets for cell phones or whatever else you want to carry but this is just another great piece of um, equipment to help you get along the day when you want to carry your firearm and having that that peace of mind of being safe and secure even when you're out for a jog uh, you could slip your IDs and stuff in there so you're not having to carry your whole wallet with you uh, maybe if you got a money clip you know if you if your jogging route takes you past a store you want to carry a couple dollars to stop and get you a drink you've got a couple of pockets that you could you know slip a couple of dollars in but I just wanted to show you guys the Blackhawk Nacho Belt again as long as you have a stash or any other uh, in the waistband holster that will fit in this then you are able to carry in the waistband and my opinion the the thing that sets this belly band belt apart from all the other ones is again you're using your holster that you're already used to drawing from you've tightened down that tension screw so you know how much force it takes for you to get that holster uh, get the gun out of the holster plus when you go to reholster your gun again knowing that you've got the tension tightened down on this you're not having to fumble with some uh, elastic band that you got to now stretch over your gun you don't have uh, some uh, what am I trying to say you don't have that stretchy band acting as the holster and so when you put your gun in there it's not going to stretch to allow the gun to fall out through the bottom so again you have your particular brand of holster whether it is Blackhawk or if it's another brand but there is no way when you're running is this going to fall through the bottom there and it's not falling out of your holster also as long as you make sure that your clip on your holster goes down past the nylon belt there you shouldn't have to worry about your holster falling out of the belt so like I said you know and I mean it's still going to be the same acquiring your grip pulling out get on target do what you got to do reholster and you're good to go so that's all I got guys I uh, just wanted to touch on the uh, Blackhawk nacho belt also they do have a fanny pack but it is designed for you to also carry a gun in there in a holster it kind of has the same uh, nylon strip in there to attach the holster to so the gun isn't just flopping around inside the fanny pack is actually being held in place so when you go to open it and go you know to grab the gun it's it's gonna be in the same place every time it's gonna be in a position ready for you to reach in grab that uh, the grip of your gun and unholster so that way you can get on target you're not having to fish around in there to find the grip so again that's all I wanted to holler at you guys about I will leave a link down below for Blackhawk uh, Blackhawk is I'm gonna use the term unofficial sponsor uh, the last time I talked to them they said they were not in a position to take on more ambassadors but I did get their blessing to talk about their products on my channel so thank you to Blackhawk a lot of great people over there great customer service I'll make sure I drop a link 
in the description for Blackhawk as well as uh, the bucked up that I mentioned at the beginning of the video and that's all I got guys thank you for watching thank you for tuning in please make sure if you haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe button um, I look at my my analytics on here and more than 90% of the people that watch these videos you're not subscribed to this channel I thank you so much for watching the videos but if you could do me a, a good solid favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel I would greatly appreciate that uh, make sure you hit the bell and hit the uh, all so you get notified every time I do a video drop comments ask questions you know let me know what you guys think and if you like the videos please smash that thumbs up button and then share these videos so that way we can get this channel growing and hopefully be able to do other great things till then guys train hard train safe see you guys out there